So um, you don't have to give me your name unless you want to. I don't have to give my name. Unless you want to. Jessica. All right, Jessica. And you're very welcome. This is Fintan Dunn uh, for Breakfornews.com Live with coverage of the Ohio protest here at the state capitol in Ohio. A couple of hundred people have now gathered and they are non-partisan. This isn't a, a political protest specifically aimed at the current administration. This is citizens of Ohio, a couple of hundred who've had enough and they've uh, gathered here. Uh, it's been organized among a number of different groups. I'll just go back to live coverage, which is courtesy of the High Wire from Dell Big Tree. Okay, I think they're going to have people that are, that are having a rough time hearing you, but basically what she's saying is um, she's not really afraid of the virus. She wanted to show her kids how to stand up for her rights, and she's, she's driven uh, about two, two and a half hours from Cleveland? About two hours. Depends on what part of Cleveland you're in, right? So... Okay, how many people came down with you? Did you bring like a carload or a bus? There's five of us. Five of you? Yeah, teenagers, college age. Okay, um, do you think you'll be coming back if there's any more of these? Absolutely. Absolutely? Yep. Okay, did you lose a job or anything out of I this? I did. You did? What, what was your I'm occupation? A nurse. Oh, you are a nurse. I am a nurse. Now listen to this. Okay, here we have the hospitals that are yes. supposedly full. Right. And um, I we work have. I'm in an outpatient clinic, but we have hardly any patients, so I'm not working. But my friends in the ICU that I used to work in, they're hardly working. They're getting canceled shifts. And this is me. This is big hospitals in the Cleveland area. So I heard, uh, I heard Cleveland Clinic had um, only one case um, a few days ago when we had the last rally. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and you know, we're, we're, shutting down this, we're shutting down the state because of one case in, in one of the most affected areas, I'm not sure. And I know OSU's dead. I know people that are, I, I know there's, there were a lot of nurses here Thursday, but there's yeah. also I know some here that, were, that are here today. Yeah. Some of them wanted to remain anonymous, but yeah. um, I don't care. it's okay. Well, you know, I appreciate you yeah, speaking sure. up and coming up. Absolutely, and that's, our freedoms are that important. Perfect. Well, yep. thank you. You're I appreciate welcome. your time. Welcome. Thank you. Have a safe drive back, Scott. Scott, yeah. Yeah, I think we're in the room together. Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Maker? Yes, yeah, yeah. that's me. <laughs> What's your last name? Planning. What is it? Okay, this is uh, live coverage again from uh, the state capital in Ohio. And we just heard from a nurse there who reported that she actually is an outpatient nurse and she's got no work. And uh, she's talking about she's been cancelled. Uh, she's from Cleveland, Ohio, and she's clearly indicating that she doesn't think that the uh, hospital system is under any stress. Here's uh, one of the posters been presented, uh, which again is comparing the deaths which are taking place from this virus to a whole host of other things which are killing far, far higher numbers of people. And these protesters here at the state capitol in Ohio are demanding an immediate end to the lockdown with no conditions. They're demanding the right to go back to work. They're reading the Constitution of the United States of America, and they're saying that they have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And they're calling out both of the main parties here at the uh, state capitol in Ohio. You're not seeing all the protesters. Some have gone around the far side of the building to protest there as well. And uh, these people have driven from all over the state here, a couple of hundred of them, uh, in an ad hoc basis. Uh, this hasn't been organized uh, by a political structure or anything. This is many different groups. And as you see here, there's some of the messages which they're uh, bringing to the state capital here today. Um, I'll just go back to live coverage. Let's step down here a little bit further here. Again, your coverage here coming courtesy of the High Ward Del Big Trees channel. I appreciate you walking all the way down here with your baby. That's awesome. Um, you don't have to give your name unless you want to. What's your name? Brittany Burnett. Brittany Burnett. And this is Maya Burnett. Oh, it's adorable. 19 months. Two months old? 19 months. Oh, 19 months. Okay. Close to two. <laughs> it's like two months. That's pretty young. <laughs> okay, so um, can, I, can I ask you what brings you down here today? I just want to stand up for our constitution. Stand up for our constitutional rights. Sorry, my voice is a little um, gone. That's okay. I'm, I'm going to try to try to get you closer here so you can hear you. Um, we don't believe that this is within the rights of our governor to do the actions that he's doing, and we think that it's government overreach. So we're here to support Ohio. Okay. Um, so how far did you come here today? Two hours. Two hours. Where, where do you live? Finley. Finley, Ohio. Yes. Okay. You haven't had to talk to anybody from there yet, but I'm, I'm glad you came down here. How many people did you come with? Just us. Just the two of you. Yep. Just the two. That's awesome. I, I really appreciate you being here. I know a lot of people that are watching. I wish they could be here. Do as well. And um, 
there's um, so so if uh, any news agencies want to uh, use this video, is do they have your permission? Yeah, my permission, yes. Okay, well that's that's that's. Is there anything else that you want to tell us? I just want everybody to dig deep with themselves and to look at the numbers because the numbers don't lie. That's exactly right. And uh, Amy isn't really disclosing the data now, is she? No. Okay. Well, her modeling, her. her, her she needs it's, to show us where the state is coming from because we're not buying it. Amy Acton Math 101. Yes. It's not doesn't add up. Nope. Well, thank you a lot for your time, and uh, you guys have a safe trip back. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're gonna walk back up here. And uh, it's only earlier on today, folks, that we released a video uh, all about Sweden and how Sweden has managed to bring their curve down, flatten the curve without the lockdowns, while still maintaining the schools open, creches open, uh, bars, etc. open, social distancing in place, yes, because they're not stupid, but uh, the Swedish uh, are, have actually beaten this virus. That's what we were out with. I'm, Literally within uh, a couple of hours of putting that video out comes news of this well-attended protest here at the state capitol in Ohio where protest groups which are not one group, they're just from many different kinds of people uh, who came from all over the state because they just want the right to live a life back and they don't think that the deaths are being suffered uh, uh, is, uh, they think it's a disproportionate response to the actual threat which has been faced. I think that I'm going to um, shut it down now. Looks like everybody's pretty much leaving. The press conference is over, but I think we got our point across. Um, so um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any more of these. Um, well, I'm sure if, if the state doesn't open back up, there absolutely will be. There's been a lot of people that have been reaching out to people that have been here, the other people that have had lives, and um, you know, look for some more. This needs to happen not only this state but other states as well, because the Constitution is not only just part time. People can stay home if they want, but they should be able to work if they want as well. Take care.